Foul line left. And he's perimeter outside. Hannah Stefan. Stefan dribble drive to the lane. Up and under. A reverse. Beautiful move. Holy smokes. The regulars, I'm serious. Has a nice little off-handed move there by Hayes, who drops it in. Here's Bohannon, Jason Forcourt's left side, locked in, three ball, Vandemir at the buzzer! Got it! Oh, 64-30! Weaver gets a pop-out screen from Jeffers, a closely guarded three ball, Weaver got it! Nope, two on the line. Boy, a long two, but man, he just, just rainbows here. It's gonna be four on two, Mario West lays it off, score the hoop and the foul, that's a nice move. A oh, nice move, but you know, if you're courtizing things up, 14 to shoot, three and a half to go. Here's Sims. Got another one. Deshaun Sims at 96 94. The IO three on two. Channing, we got a tie ball game. Tied at 96. They've come all the way back. Court. Curtis Stinson with a crossover dribble. Curtis in the lane, got away with a walk, step back three. Hannah, no good, but right there to put it back. Ophias Jeffers. <laughs> Iowa's got the lead again at 104 to 102. Timeout. So 107 is the final count here at Wells Fargo Arena. But very entertaining basketball. December 23rd, 2010, the Iowa Energy hosts the main Red Claws in Des Moines, Iowa. And Hannah's going to drive underneath the basket with a reverse. He's going to put up 16 points in this evening's event as the Iowa Energy take the lead early and they don't look back. With the Red Claws still fighting, Hayes fights through the middle with 12 points in this evening's event. But going into the second half, we're going to have Van Meter with a huge three ball and the Energy with a 25-point lead. A couple of huge D-League prospects on the Iowa Energy. Kyle Weaver is one of them from the perimeter. Two points of his 22 and 10 boards in this evening's event. Red Claws fighting back in the third quarter. Narrowing the deficit is Mario West. 17 points this evening for him. But the big man in the night from the Red Claws, Sims, 33 points, 14 boards. The Red Claws narrowed the gap within two points and Jennings is gonna put up a two ball and they are tied late in the fourth quarter. They could pull this one out. The Iowa Energy maintaining control and they desperately need a basket to win this game. The ball is up, but it's Otheus Jeffers that puts it away and he leads for the Energy with 22 points and 13 boards. The Energy walk away with a one-point victory. That's how close of a game it was. That's D-League basketball for you. Log on to nba.com backslash D-League for more action.